Hey guys, it's Tanner from Rhino Fitness, and today I'm going to share with you how to properly set up your lifting straps, but more importantly, how you can use them to really take your training to the next level. We all know that lifting straps are an essential tool in anyone's training, but the problem is, is that there's still a ton of people out there who really don't know how to use them or even how to incorporate them in their training effectively. Now, lifting straps are typically designed for pulling movements, which is why you see a lot of people using them for lap pull downs, uh, for dumbbell rows, for T-bar rows, or even deadlifts. And what's great about them is that they're actually designed to help you with your grip. They're designed to really take the pain and the stress and the tension off of your forearms and off of your wrist so that you can really focus on the muscle group that you're actually working. Now going hand in hand with them helping you with your grip, you'll also see people using these for when they're shrugging heavy dumbbells or when people are really doing walking lunges with a lot of weight because they can really, really help you and really push that bigger muscle group to the next level. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to set up your lifting straps properly, but also how to really lock them into that bar so that you can feel confident in your training. So now that you have your lifting straps out of the package, they're going to look something like this. Now what you need to do is you just lay them out. Technically these are identical straps, there is no left, there is no right, but what we're going to do is that we're actually going to designate one for the left hand and one for the right hand because as you use these more and more, they're actually going to start forming to the palms of your hand and to the bar and it's just going to be a better fit overall if you designate one for the left and one for the right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the end, bring it in through the middle and out through the loop. Now the main thing that we want to do here is just make sure that there's no binding here and making sure this is flat because this is going to be up against your palm so you want it nice and flat. Now we're going to take the other one and do the exact same thing, bring it through and now we have our lifting straps with cuffs on them. So now we're going to designate one for the left one for the right so the only way to do this is to really try these on. Now I'm going to throw this one on here and because I've done this a couple times I know this one's going to be for the left hand and this one's going to be for the right. Now I'm going to show you why this one's for the left hand and not for the right hand. First off, what we want to do is that we want to make sure that the back of the strap is on the base of your wrist. We don't want it up here and cinched up because that's not where we want the pressure to be. That's just going to be uncomfortable and it's going to slide on you regardless of how tight it is. What we want is we want to push it down a little bit so that's at the base of the wrist and when it's pulled tight it stops. It's not going to go anywhere, it's not going to slide or anything like that. What I also want to point out is that this strap is about an inch and a half wide. So what that does is that when there's a lot of weight being pulled on here, it's dispersing the weight over a greater, greater surface area so that it's not digging into your skin and not causing you any pain. Now the reason why that this is for the left hand is because when we look at the strap like this, the main part of the strap is going through the thumb and the pointer finger. So that's the way we want it because when we wrap onto the bar, this is how this strap is going to be used the most effectively. If I were to go and put it on the right hand, like this, this is not how it's supposed to go. This is going obviously the opposite direction of where our hand is going and number one, it doesn't fit properly, number two, it's not comfortable, number three, it's just not really going to lock in your grip the way you want it. So this is on the left hand. So now that we have our lifting straps set up properly, I'm actually going to show you how to lock them in and use them to a bar. Now since I don't have a bar here, I'm going to use this handy vacuum cleaner hose. I'm sure you all have one at home. Uh, it works really well to practice on, which I highly recommend you do, and it's about the right diameter to what an actual bar would be. So let's say for example that you want to do a deadlift or any type of back row. What we're going to do is that we're going to pretend that this is the bar. We're going to put our hand over top, so our palm is on top. And what we're going to do is that we're going to put the strap coming from below and then we wrap it around the bar and then when we get to the end of the wrap all we do to cinch this up is something called a motorcycle twist grip or that's what I like to call it anyways and basically what you do is you reach over and you twist it back you reach over move your hand forward and twist it back now as you can see already by me doing that, it's really locking in my hand and it's really causing this to cinch up on my wrist and really lock it in. So you can see that there's no way that I'm going to be slipping out of this grip at all. Now the main thing that I want to point out is that regardless of any type 
of pulling movement or holding movement or anything like that, you want the strap to be on the opposite side of the bar. So my palm is on the top, so my palm's on top, the strap's gonna come from underneath. If I was doing a reverse grip, where I was holding it like this, this where my hand is underneath, then I'm gonna be wrapping it from the top. And what that's gonna do is really help me when I go to motorcycle grip twist. See how the hands work over top? Boom, now my hands are locked in there and they're not going anywhere. So regardless of whatever type of exercise you're doing, you want the strap on the opposite side of your palm. Now one of the tricks that I like to do to make locking into this uh, a lot easier and faster is number one, I like to use my, or to lock in my least dominant hand first, which is my left hand. I'm not as coordinated with it. So what I do is I lock onto the bar and then I use my right hand to wrap it around. Now ideally you want to be able to do this by yourself uh, with one hand and not having to do this, but if you have to do this at the start, no big deal because I can do it with my right hand really well and fast, so I just simply slip it on and then work my fingers around and go. Uh, another little trick that I like to do is that instead of just loosely wrapping this, like so, and then having to really motorcycle it to get it tight, what I like to do is to wrap it around and when I wrap it around, I'm making that first wrap super tight and getting my wrist and my palm as snug to the bar as I can and then the consecutive wraps don't necessarily have to be as tight and then when I want to do that little motorcycle grip to really lock it in it's just a little half or like a little quarter turn boom and my wrist is locked in so I'm not sitting there just reefing on it for 10 minutes trying to get it in now another thing is that we want our hand and our palm locked in so as you can see on the back side my hand is locked in, the bar fits nice, the wrap is around it, and that's gonna give you a good lift and a good, good solid contact with the bar. If I was like this, to where the strap is out, what's the point? This isn't doing anything, there's too much give in here, and I may as well not even be using this lifting strap. So that's my tutorial on how to use your lifting straps properly and exercises that you can use with the lifting straps. Now I know it's gonna take some practice for you, but honestly, if you can get this down and incorporate it into your training effectively, you're gonna be able to take your training to the next level.